Thanks so much for spending part of your Saturday night with us here on 12 News at 6. I'm Jonathan McCall. I'm Rachel Cole. A major blow tonight for the Casa Grande community. Nearly 1,300 jobs are being cut from the Lucid Motor factories. That's right. The company announcing those plans of those layoffs earlier this week. But just yesterday, the company officially filing notice with the state of Arizona. In an official notice to the state of Arizona on Friday, Lucid Motors announced plans to slash 1,296 jobs from its Casa Grande plant. In a letter posted this week on the company's website, Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson said, quote, given evolving business needs and productivity improvements, we are reducing the size of our organization by approximately 18%. The company says it expects to save anywhere from 24 to $30 million with the cuts. The news coming after a disappointing earnings report back in February. This is another quarterly loss for Lucid. Revenue, however, is below what expectations were on Wall Street. Revenue coming in, $258 million. The street was expecting just over $303 million. The numbers within the numbers everybody is focused on, production and deliveries in the fourth quarter. And when it comes to production, yeah, it's an improvement over the third quarter, but that's they're still you know trying to get these production challenges corrected. The company broke ground on the Casa Grande plant back in 2019 making it the first ever car plant in Arizona history. Former Governor Doug Ducey. Well, to my knowledge, I believe it is the, the first car plant. Uh, I do think it's a, a big deal. The $700 million plant employed 2,000 workers. Just last year, the company made just over 7,000 cars. This year, the company expected to make anywhere from 10,000 to 14,000 cars. The company also receiving a $47 million tax break from the state of Arizona for building the plant. 12 News has reached out to Lucid to learn more details about the future of the remaining workers and the plant, but so far have yet to hear back. But the company says it's now looking toward the future. In a statement, Rawlinson said, quote, Our mission remains unchanged. We are committed to a more innovative and environmentally sustainable future. Meanwhile, in a statement in just the past 30 minutes, Casa Grande's mayor, Craig McFarland, says the company's 2.4 million square expansion project is still under construction and is expected to move forward. Right now, Team 12's Jade Cunningham is in Casa Grande getting reaction for you right now for 12 News at 10.